New secrets in game might have just uncovered Fortnite's next upcoming event. And if we're right, then season two is in danger. Secrets have been found suggesting that Godzilla is likely arriving to season two. Hey, and if you don't believe me, you can literally jump into game and check this one out for yourselves. It can literally be found right here. Uh, well, sorry, not right here. Uh, huh? It's somewhere around there. Yo, just give me a quick second. <gasps> Hold on. Wait a minute. I think it's right there. Yeah. Yo! First reference to a possible Godzilla event in Season 2 has actually been added by Epic Games. I mean, did you guys even know? Fortnite Season 2's Mega City is based off of Tokyo. But did you guys know that the film Godzilla is actually based in Tokyo? Yes, apparently Godzilla, the giant lizard monster that attacks cities, is actually based in Tokyo. Well, at least most of the films that Godzilla is in happen in Tokyo. So this should mean, as Fortnite Season 2 is based in Tokyo, Tokyo or a futuristic version of Tokyo. Maybe Godzilla is on its way. As you can see, this reference right here is actually a reference of Godzilla himself. And as it's in Fortnite right now, it's most likely going to be a part of a collaboration or some kind of a... Oh, that's just a sign. Oh I meant God. that over there. Uh, just ignore that guy. Uh, yes, this is actually a reference to Godzilla. Players may not actually know, but this spray-on logo that can be found in-game. It's actually based off of a Godzilla logo in one of the films, and it's literally almost a straight copycat. Except in Godzilla, this is Thunder. The spray for this, of course, can be found in the Battle Pass, which means it is relevant for the entire season. But what players are most concerned about is why would Epic Games add in some clear reference, literally taken from Godzilla, into our Fortnite Season 2 Tokyo-themed Fortnite. Fortnite's game? That's a good question. And there is still more evidence. Arra, arra, arra. Hold on, let's see if this actually works. Let me know if this is cool or this is cringe. I... Uh... Oh, yo, it worked! Hey, Thunder. What should I say? Godzilla. Huh? Thunder is one of the main characters in Season 2. And he has a connection to Godzilla you might not know about. In the game's files, the NPC Thunder has a code name called Localzilla. Which seems a surprisingly strange name. With his name literally mentioning Zilla. Which is half of the word Godzilla. And the fact this character looks suspiciously like Godzilla. There is some speculation, some rumors online. That this local Zilla type NPC may just be another reference to an upcoming Godzilla. Fortnite event that is coming at the end of this season. If you actually take a cold hard look at this character right here. There are many similarities between him and Godzilla. The snake like dinosaur face. The giant teeth and tongue. In fact, most players are saying the head is almost identical to Godzilla. But of course, just the rest of his body. Uh, well, the rest of his body. Hey, well, hey, you know, my man is swagged out, huh? Got my man looking dope. And of course, if you talk to him in game, you get a surprise that you might not be expecting. Godzilla is coming. We don't have much time. Hey, wait, hold on, hold on. I, 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 I can get to you what you need to keep the peace. Hey, wait a minute. I thought you were talking about Godzilla. Yes, this guy looks like Godzilla, but at this moment in time, no, he doesn't mention Godzilla. I know you're disappointed. I'm really, really sorry. I'm sure Calm is gonna catch up with me eventually. Wow, that timing is crazy, dog. That is actually nuts. A Godzilla event might not actually be as crazy as it sounds. We've already had a giant monster-themed season. All the way back in chapter one of season nine, a giant monster came to our island. In fact, that season of Fortnite, before we knew what the monster looked like, players believed that it was actually Godzilla himself that was coming to our Fortnite game. Kind of crazy to think. Every time a giant monster seems to be coming to our Fortnite game, we think it's Godzilla. And if you're looking online right now, the most popular theories about what is coming in season two is literally Godzilla. So maybe it is possible that a giant Godzilla is actually coming out of the water in our Fortnite game. It's gonna head towards Tokyo, just like it does in the films. And we're gonna get an epic, epic event. Excuse me. Bro, this ain't that anime video, bruh. We're done with that for now. Come back when I do another one, yeah? We also may have had our first hints that Godzilla was actually coming to season two all the way back in the last season. Rewind ourselves back in the chapter four storyline with the Rift Warden. He warned us that if the Rift Gate was to open, that some kind of beautiful monster would be coming to our game. Do you guys remember? A beautiful monster enabled by the hubris of a champion. <laughs> yeah, it was like a long time ago, huh? What even 
happened to the Rift Warden? Anybody know? I sure don't. The Rift Warden warned us of a beautiful monster coming to our Fortnite game. But since season two has started, we've seen Tokyo. We've seen no beautiful monsters. Uh, so to recap, our references in the Battle Pass and in Fortnite of Godzilla. We're in the location, Tokyo, where Godzilla normally attacks. There are important NPC characters, literally with the code name Zilla. And we're expecting some kind of giant, beautiful monster to be arriving in this season of Fortnite. Hey, I don't know about you. Started to feel more and more likely that Godzilla is coming to season two. Yo, and I think that would be epic. <gasps> Yo. And if even any of this doesn't convince you, then maybe that will right over there. Yo, it, 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 it's, it's scuffed Godzilla, everybody. It's, it's scuffed Godzilla. This is a taste of uh, what the event uh, might uh, look like. Uh, 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 oh uh, yeah, I don't even need to say it. Nah, I guess we'll just move on to the next secret, huh? Yeah, it sounds good to me. Oh, okay, yes, so we've arrived at the next location and there's something suspicious and mysterious going on here And I literally think I'm the only person that actually has the answers to this online Hey, so it is worth sitting down and listening. Yo, somebody else has been here, bro At any point we might get jump scared, so just a quick heads up Jump scare probably impending <laughs> At the beginning of season 2, a mysterious POI location was discovered It is a no-named POI and nobody online knows what it's about Well, that's until your boy came along and he found out the truth Because this secret location actually has a name, and it's called Bone Marrow. This code name was found in the game's files, and it seems to be suggesting that these stones are actually made out of bone, or at least the marrow, the inside of the bone, which is pretty creepy, if you think about it. Of course, players cannot actually destroy this location. You cannot mine it. You cannot pickaxe it. It does nothing, so it is here to stay. So, what is really going on at this location? Well, here is the truth. We actually have discussed the idea of Bone Marrow in our Fortnite game already. The Rift of Warden appeared in our Fortnite chapter 4 game, and he had some kind of strange armor that seems to be made out of, well, bones. And the term bone marrow was actually being used. Rumors online already believe that this location may actually be the top of some kind of fortress that is hidden underground. The giant spikes that are found in game are actually the top of the towers that are often found in fortresses and cathedrals. And as you can see, it actually makes a lot of sense. This bone marrow structure of a building is believed to possibly be the fortress of the Rift Warden himself. And maybe his plan this whole time was to get the Rift Gate up and running to bring his location into the Fortnite game. You gotta remember the Rift Warden actually tried to take the throne of the Ageless Champion. He wanted his own castle, his own throne. And now maybe he got his way. A castle made of bone. The same bone that makes his armor. And with the arrival of season two, he's managed to get it into the island. Except it's trapped underneath the map. Uh, yo, I'm super interested to know what you guys think about this theory. Right, why shoot me. Shoot the guy you were shooting at, dog. I'm super interested to know what you guys think about this theory. Do you think the Rift Warden has a secret base? Is that one our Fortnite's map? Oh! Oh, do you think it's something else? Let me know. Psych! Oh, bro, the double team! I knew it! 